Hello everyone, all who are in one body of Christ. Our say welcome to the story that is given us together. Today we will meditating upon. Insecurities force us to build our habit of practicing pessimism. Before astrology, is going to talk on this topic. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 16 to 18. Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Now let's see what we can learn from the verse we just read. We will, today we will meditate on Psalm 139 and see how this psalm is the perfect antidote when we are dealing with our insecurities. You may think that people would not like you if they really knew you, but the Lord knows you so well that even He understands every single one of your thoughts we ever have. He knows you intimately, but loves you anyway. In this psalm, David is talking about the Lord's protection and how the Lord hedges him from behind and before. The Lord redeems our past, therefore we don't have to replay all of our mistakes. In Christ Jesus, we are forgiven, and He helps us profit from the lessons of the past. In addition, the Lord hedges us before, which means the Lord secures our future as well. In Jeremiah 29, verse 11, the Lord gives you the promise because the Lord has your future in his hands. For us, there is no need to worry about. David also talks about the Lord's constant presence in his present. Isn't it comforting to know that the creator of the universe is with us always? In him all is all the wisdom we need to handle every circumstance. Imagine having an audience of the smartest man alive. Even that man will look like an idiot compared to God's wisdom. I also love how David is affirming the person that God created him to be. He talks about the Lord forming him and creating his inner parts. Once you know that God took a personal interest in man's creation, how can you ever think that he would forget about you? To think that, it would mean that God himself is a neglectful landlord. He owns the property but has no interest in taking care of it. But because you know God, then you know that it is not true. You can have security in your identity in Jesus Christ, knowing that you don't, that you belong to him. You can also find security in the fact that Jesus has overcome the world. So you can walk forth in all confidence in God, knowing that he will lead you and guide you into the wonderful future that he has planned for you. So rejoice and stop thinking negatively and continue to practice exercising to be positive and spread the good news to all who you are surrounded with. This message was given to prompt you today. The promise is, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a hope and a future. Let's close this time in prayer together. Please join me in this prayer. Dear Lord, Holy Father, mighty, wonderful God, Lord, thank you for the good plans you have purposed for me and all your children. Enlarge my vision of you and enable me to trust your word of truth through all the circumstances of my life, knowing that your thoughts towards me are only good continually. Thank you, Father, that all things work together for good for those that love you and fitting into your plans and purposes. Continue to keep and protect your people, Israel, and I pray that many would come to trust in Jesus, their Messiah and King. Lord, help me to trust you and continue what I practice this week, staying away from negativity. Lord, continue to fill me with your spirit and your holy word, now and forever and going forward. In Jesus' holy name I pray, amen. How does the dear one of God's when we talk to you tomorrow?